I'll tell you what I really loved about the book launch. I loved Miriam's speech and I really enjoyed um, Chris and his enthusiasm for what was going on. And she was all right too. She made me laugh. I learned everything I ever learned about speech making from Mr. Paul Andrews, apart from my entrance, because he always does a little leap onto stage. Um, and I loved, I, I loved the the whole vibe between Miriam and Chris. I thought it was quite weepy actually, and yeah. they just love each other, don't they? Yeah, but it was really good. It was really well organised, and I was surprised about the huge turnout as well. It was really impressive turnout. No, the whole thing's been really good fun. And they raised loads of money for charity for tomorrow's yeah. world, which was good. Excellent. Yeah, it was over four hundred quid, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Did you put your money, your hand in your pocket? Paul yeah, I, I got outbid on the illustrations but uh, no I did buy a load of raffle tickets. Now funnily enough I love Turkish food but I don't know what any of it's called apart but from hummus. I like hummus and baklava but that's a cake isn't it? Baklava is yeah. or it might be a dance. It's a bit of both really. I think it's that one where you go. Oh is it? Yeah it's that uh, one. That is a dance. Well, I like a bit of that while I'm eating my well, It hummus. might be a hat, that fairy hat. That's a bal balaclava. Yeah. yeah. Well, the one that burglars wear. Yeah that's it. That's yeah. the one. Uh, so that's what I like. Uh, and, and a kebab and a bit of lamb. Oh yeah, kebab. Yeah. But you don't drink, so you wouldn't really be the type that has a kebab not, at three in the morning. No, and I wouldn't drink Rexina or whatever it is so no. that you go with. Rocky. Yeah, that's the chat. No, no, I wouldn't have any of that. Um, what do I like? Thanks for asking. I really love... We haven't got that much time. To <laughs> I love a bit of hummus. Yeah. And I love baba ganoush. But I don't know if baba ganoush is I've Lebanese. I've seen that film. <laughs> so have I. I don't know if Baba Ganoush is Turkish or maybe Arabic. In that, in, in that, all the dolls that fit inside each other. No, or is that Babushka? That's Babushka. Oh, oh, that's Babushka. Or is that Kate Bush? I don't know. Could no, be. That was the song. Yeah. Mm. But uh, anyway, I think I think our cameraman's getting a bit hysterical, don't yeah, you? Yeah. <laughs> Baba Ganoush is what I like, and right. anything with garlic, and uh, and I did like the cake. I had a lovely cake, Turkish cake. It was all moist and gorgeous. I've never been to Turkey either. Have you been to Turkey? Uh, no, I haven't. I, I would love to go. I would love to go to Istanbul, but I'd also like to go to the coast uh, as no, well. I want, I want to go to their village. Yeah, I, I, would I want like to see to. where it happens. Can you wash a carpet? Oh, yeah. Hand wash? Oh, yeah. With olive soap? With olive oil. Olive soap? Wash a carpet with olive oil. We don't want to do that. <laughs> make a right mess. Olive soap. Silly woman. Get your little feet. Get your little feet out. Is that how you do it? Yeah. Is it stamping? Yeah. Like, oh, right. Just the same as making wine, isn't it, okay. really? Um, so if we put grapes under the carpet, we could wash the carpet and make wine at the same exactly. time. Exactly. Hey, got it cracked. No. Let's go to Turkey. Let's I would like that. to go. I would like to go to taste the donkey cheese. Donkey cheese, my favourite. We've heard all about that on yeah. the business bunker, so yeah. I'd like to go for that. It's, it's a local delicacy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'd like to have the fresh fish there, and I'd like to stroll with Miriam, I think. Stroll with Miriam and have Paul Anders bring me drinks on the beach and things. It, it, it weights on your hand and foot yeah. as normal. Yeah. Yeah. And carry your hot tea bags to yeah. the beach. Okay. He's very good at that. Okay. That's a really good question. I think that um, what Miriam went through so soon after being married to the lovely Chris would would be devastating. And for Chris, the way he's helped her and they've just stayed as a couple has been fantastic. For anyone that's been ill. She, she's found her own way and she's she's looked at her diet, she's looked at where she's lived. She's changed everything about her life and come out the other end and I think that's a very brave lady. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, anyone that's overcome an illness by pursuing something tenaciously and with passion is inspirational. And I think what Miriam's done is inspirational. There was a lady that was suffering from ill health uh, not only has she done something about that, but she's also taken on a challenge that has kind of helped her overcome that illness or at least cope with it in a better fashion. And as I say, that's, that provides inspiration for people. It's too easy to sit at home and feel sorry for yourself when things aren't working. And it just shows you that by getting out there, doing stuff, you can actually make yourself feel better. So fabulous. That's true. She could have just given up. So Yeah, yeah. No, and she hasn't. And now, and now having out. succeeded with her first book, she's now full of ambition to start work on her second. Huh? And she's so That's excited fabulous. that we're yeah. going to go and stay with her. Watch it, here comes Chris. We're going Stop to go talking about him. We're going to go and stay with her. There'll be a whole new book there, won't there, Paul Absolutely, Andrews? yeah. A whole right. new book. There, 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 could, there could be 40 chapters to that once how, we get out there. How to get rid of guests. Yeah, yeah. It'd be very easy lessons, especially guests that trample over the carpets and trample olive oil in them and make wine yeah. out of the carpets. Yeah, yeah. And eat that. all the donkey cheese. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>